I'm Victoria Devine and I have just bought my first home. Come and have a look. So something people don't know about us working issues on the money is we spend 50% of our time on the business and 50% of our time on realestate.com today looking we, at houses. We did, now we don't have to anymore. Obviously us millennials, we want to have the perfect house for our first house, so what was it like the balance between not everything here is perfect and what you love, no, but absolutely not. so how did you figure out that balance? I think it was an interesting process of finding something in the space we wanted to be in, in the location we wanted, with the, the main features, so over the next couple of years or hopefully next year we can make it ours and we can actually create it into what we want it to be in because as I mentioned before, maybe red isn't my dream splashback, <laughs> but those things are super easy to change but the bones of this home was really, really good. One of my favourite features of this house is... The bifold doors. The bifold doors and also it comes with an assistant. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> this is Jess. Jess is an absolute legend and happens to be my EA. And um, will evidently work from literally anywhere. That's her office apparently. That's now her office. <laughs> I think here we're going to get rid of this water feature that no longer works and make it into a functional outdoor kitchen. So we're thinking built-in barbecue, probably a sink, and my favourite will be a wine bar outside. Courtyard, sort of decking area, a bit of a backyard. Is mm. this big enough for two cats and a dog? Yes, it is, <laughs> or it's going to have to be because our dog literally arrives tomorrow, which we are so <laughs> excited about. I said go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, these doors are... It's Bali Villa vibes. It's Bali Villa vibes, they've got to go. Maybe I'll paint them white for now, but... Maybe you think if she's on the money, this is Victoria's home office. I'm really excited to have my desk here and these open in the summer so the animals can come in and out while I work from home. You may have heard Victoria on the podcast mention that she has a few pairs of shoes. Oh no. Brie probably doesn't want to show this, but... No! There's no furniture in here yet, but... You need to check out this room in here, we've, it's we've ridiculous. Only, no, it's we've ridiculous. only just started moving stuff in, so last night I grabbed half my wardrobe and Half? <laughs> half? Are you doing that's half? It's half. Hi, I'm Carrie Bradshaw and welcome to my shoe closet. Here's some of the collection I have. Two questions. Yes. How much is this worth? And secondly, can I have a pay rise? Um. I can't answer either of those questions, but what I can tell you is those all align to my values. What I like about this house is it's really light and bright. However, I feel like this room is not that. No, it's not. It doesn't have any windows, so this is the ensuite of what I was calling the study, and it is questionably designed. Oh, that's so satisfying. Yeah, so these need to go. Oh! <laughs> Did you just go off the bank? Look at this. Welcome to my indoor courtyard with a skylight, some gravel, an unnecessary mirror, and a number of plants that I brought myself. Uh, this room will probably just be another study or a spare room for when people come and stay, but we'll be doing a fair bit to it in the coming months because we're going to remove that skylight and remove that inner indoor wall i think you call it and put a proper skylight in here so that the room can be self-sufficient without a window from the lounge room so this is like a second lounge room slash spare bedroom slash these guns don't just happen <laughs> these guns just don't happen Art deco ceilings, we've got 12 foot ceilings, a questionable chandelier. I've actually always been in cowboys. Sadly, um, this guy's, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's gonna last. Just know that before Victoria had even formally got the house, she'd already on PowerPoint redesigned the whole floor plan of this. 
So get a look at this wall while it lasts because it ain't going to be here too much longer. So we're going to create this one into the master bedroom because it's got really great natural light which I really like in a bedroom. It's got the beautiful Art Deco ceiling and it happens to be hard up against the laundry and the bathroom. And the laundry and the bathroom are both quite pokey so we're going to put in a door here, walk through wardrobe hopefully and then a ensuite on the other side of that. I'm pretty sure if you sit on the toilet in the second bathroom your knees hit the vanity. So. And you're only five foot two so yeah, I haven't yeah. forbid anyone else has to use it. My partner Bridget has two rules with houses and needs to have a bath and needs to have a gas top stove. I have ticked both of those boxes. Uh, does that mean she gets to live with me? Well, we're about to get married, so hopefully she'll live with me, but... It's a choice she gets to make, buddy. She's her own woman. She'll make her own decisions. It's a great size for an ensuite, but definitely not as the master bathroom. So, hopefully that can, that can change and we can uh, make it a little bit prettier as well. Alright, so this is your first house and you and Steve bought it within hours of seeing it? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. I feel like I'm very much a do as I say, not as I do kind of person. Guys, put 24 hours between your purchases. Between your purchases. <laughs> and I clearly can't listen to myself, but we had a really great buyer's advocate working for us, Amy Lenardi, who is actually one of my friends as well. And she found this and essentially we needed to move so quickly just because if we didn't put an offer on the house within 24 hours, it would have gone to market and gone for a lot more than what we paid. So we are going to be talking about property finance, how to pay and buy your first home, the process V went through to buy this place and also we are going to sort of finance and watch as this house transforms over the next 3 months, 12 months, 3 years, what's that process going to look Maybe. like? Maybe, we'll see how we go. Yeah. But Something that I really wanted to do because property is so hard to wrap your head around. It is why we're going to be doing the podcast next year called The Property Playbook. And it's also why every step of the way I'm going to be sharing with you guys literally every little piece of this budget. You best believe you will be able to download the Excel of how much I spend at Bunnings, how much I spend at Reese, how much I spend on literally every little thing that I probably Are you going to need a new cleaning schedule? For I am going to need a new cleaning <laughs> schedule. But it'll be really fun because I think that there's just so much, like there's so much animosity around, well, what does a bathroom actually cost? What should I be spending on? What should I be saving on? Um, you know, what can I feasibly do myself? From someone who, I would say I'm pretty crafty and I've got some hands-on skills, but I definitely couldn't install a shower. So like, yeah. where can I save money and do it myself versus where can I, you know, bring people in and how much does that actually cost? Yeah. So I think it'll be a really fun process to share with everybody and it will also be, I don't know, super perfect. Like, do you want to see what tiles I pick? I feel like I'm in that life stage where you, I get excited I saying, watching this. You would watch that video. I would watch that video, <laughs> so now I want to make that video. So for us, I think it's a really fun process to share with you guys and something that, you know, ultimately wouldn't have been possible without She's on the Money, so it only feels fair to bring you guys along on that journey. Yeah, so if you have any questions about buying a house, how much you need to save, how much renovations cost, all the process, put it in the comments below and then as we keep doing more videos from here, we'll start answering all of those questions for you. But before we go, we're going to do one of those really lame uh, final shots that they usually do in MTV Cribs. So thank you for joining us on MTV Cribs today. Uh, it was nice seeing you, but yeah, it's time for you to go. <laughs>